in. Glad to have you. We're going to take you to science class this morning with, of course, the Imagination Station. Who else? Did you know that the Bodies Revealed exhibit is extending its stay at the downtown Toledo Science Center? Carl Nelson and Nicole Schmidt from the Imagination Station are here now. Carl, I'm going to be blunt with you. You brought an eyeball with you. We brought cow eyeballs with us today, yes. This is something, this is really cool, man. You have to come out and check this out. All through the month of October, this is an activity we're doing on the weekends. You can actually come down to the Science Center and we'll lead you step by step through an eyeball dissection. Education. Education. All right, it is, is the name of the game right here. You said the kids get really into this. Parents kind of take a step the parents, back. It's interesting. The kids are not afraid of anything, so they dive right in. And we're going to have you dive right in. Um, this right here, this okay. is a cow eyeball, and I'm actually holding it by its optic nerve. Okay. Okay. This is the cable that carries all that information back to your brain. Now, you're not going to work with this one. This is my nice eye. This eye right here. That's my good eye. Okay. That's right. It's my good eye. What I, we've prepared this a little bit for you. I want you to take that pair of scissors, okay. and you're just going to make a little snip. Just shove the scissors right in there sideways. Okay. Just push them right in. Push them right in. Don't be afraid. Oh, boy. And then just go ahead and snip. Cut. Okay. And keep going, keep is, going. is the cow eye similar in nature to the human eye? It is. What's nice about the cow eye, I think you've done it. Oh, check this out. Go ahead and... Okay. Okay. Go ahead and hold that. All right. Take this part. Let the camera get a nice shot of that uh, stuff that's inside the eye. That's the vitreous humor. That's the liquid that keeps the eyeball in its shape, and it also keeps the retina pushed against the back of the eye. Go ahead and scoop that stuff out. Okay. Just push... Just Dip right and, and right onto the tray. Right here? onto the tray. Yeah. All right. You probably don't want it on your cooking set. <laughs> now, but no. Hold, hold on. Hold on to the back. He knows part this there. too well here. Hold on to the back. Pick that up. Okay. Check this out. All that that white stuff. Gently stick your finger in there and push that stuff around. That's actually the retina. Okay. okay. That, that like little, a human retina too. Human retina. The nice thing about the cow eyes is they're bigger than a human eye, so a lot of the features are a little bit easier to work with. Okay. But go ahead and scoop that out. Go ahead and scoop the retina out because behind the retina, in a cow eye, now you might notice it's only connected at one spot. It's right. only I, connected. I, I, Having difficult nerve. getting it. Oh, at the, at the optic nerve, nerve, which comes out of the back right there. Exactly. Now, check out the inside, though. It's, what does it look like? Uh, like a seashell. It's, it's kind of shiny. It's got that opalescent sort of look to it. That's actually called the tapetum, and that layer is reflective. It'll actually shoot light back through the rods and cones that were in the uh, retina to give the animal a little better night vision. Really? Because that's why if you're out in a field and you shine a flashlight at a cow, you see a bluish sort of look. Dogs and cats, raccoons and whatnot, they have that retina, uh, tapetum in the back of their eye. Humans don't. So we don't have that extra advantage for night vision. Just full of information. I, I'm, I've learned so much about uh, the eyes. Nicole, you're obviously part of the Imagination Station as well. What is it about these eyes that uh, the kids in particular can learn so much about? Well, we can learn all about the human eye. So what we also have here, what you can see on the very front, what we can see on this is the cornea, okay. just like a human eye has a cornea. We also have, here's one of the front of the eyes. You can see how we have this black texture all right through there. And what we've done on this one is we've taken that out give that to into that. Okay. And what that is right there is that's the iris of the eye. So the that's outer what portion of it. That, that's what you can see through the front. So that's what gives our eyes their color. People have different colored irises. It's also the muscle that controls how much our pupils are dilated. So when you go out into the sun and you squint because it takes a little while for your irises to contract, that's that muscle that's actually doing that. That's what controls how much light gets into the eye. Very interesting. And we also have this part, which is really cool. This is the lens of the eye. And you can just hold that out right there. They'll get a good shot of that. That so is the actual lens of the eye. That is the, the lens of the eye. So these are preserved eyes. So this lens is very cloudy. We can't see through it. In a fresh eye, they'd be clear. And then that is what focuses the light on your retina. That's what allows us to see. So if you have a fresh eye, you can actually take this and use it to magnify text on a page, because that's what it does. It bends the light so you can magnify Fascinating. it. Fascinating. It works like a magnifying glass. Again, these are preserved, which makes them much easier to dissect. There's another lens right there. And did you describe what the, the, the jelly substance was? It's called the vitreous humor. It's, okay. it's what keeps the retina pushed against the back of the eye okay. and also gives the eye a little bit of shape as well. And in, in a normal, in a fresh eye, I should say, in our eyes, that liquid is completely clear. This is a little cloudy because, again, like she said, these are preserved it, Preserved. Eyes. Yeah. Absolutely. Just a fascinating experiment. You said the kids can learn a lot about this and a lot about how the eyes work. They oh, can also can learn. They can actually they do, can it. do it. They can actually they do, do it. it. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. We don't do it for them. <laughs> we, we give them an eyeball and a pair of scissors and Thanks. we lead them through it Have step by it. step. Your personal dissection lesson, I yes. guess. Guys, have exciting news. As we mentioned, though, that uh, Bodies Revealed has been extended. Through November. How exciting so come is down that? And check that out. That's really cool. And this is kind of a tie-in with bodies. I mean, you can come down, look at the body specimens, and then actually get a biology lesson about how your eye works. Let's keep Real the lesson on. at that then. Real hands-on. <laughs>
we have a good eye on that one as well. All right, Carl, thank you so much. <laughs> Nicole, appreciate you coming in. A science lesson all in one. Mel? That is very cool. Very cool.